Welcome back for the second episode of Jigo Kuraku. In this one, we got a lot of new characters' names, so let's jump right into that after the quick disclaimer that Japanese names doesn't always have deep meanings behind them, and kanji can have multiple meanings. So with this in mind, let's start with Sagiri's father, Kichiji, written with good luck and next. Tokugawa is the name of a real clan that governed Japan during the Edo period, written with virtue and river. Nariyoshi is alike and rejoice. The title Sei Taishogun that was mentioned in this episode is just the full official title of a shogun. The term comes down to something like conquer, barbarian, great commander in army, and originated from a general that led an army in northern Japan to fight off some barbarian tribes, but was later used as the title for the leader of the samurai. Eizen is written with defense and virtue. Now for the names of the criminals going to the Shinsenkyo. Asa Chobe is ranked next, left, Morning, Soldier, and Defense. It was also mentioned that he is from Iyo, a province in the northwest of the Shikoku Main Island. Tamiya Gantetsusai is People, Valley, Strict, Iron, and Purification. Keun is Rejoice and Cloud, and it's also the name of a short Japanese era from 704 to 708, just before the Wado era. Nurugai is the only name that was only written in Katakana. Holubo is Principal, Current and Priest. Akaginu is probably the color red and Silk. Yuzuriha is Lever or something that you carry on the shoulder. Molo Makia is overgrown basket and pasture and an interrogative particle that doesn't really have a meaning in names. And the Japanese expression that was used for apostate was Kolobi Batelin and it was something used during the Edo period to talk about a Christian missionary that converted them to Buddhism. Ulokulota is written with six son and plump, which could imply that he is the sixth child of his family. And the term used for giant in Japanese was Daidarabuchi, and is the name of a gigantic kyokai in Japanese mythology that was bigger than mountains. There was also kind of a play on word in this episode when the criminals were confused by reduce. The Japanese word was shibolu, and can mean a bunch of different things depending on the context, but it usually means to squeeze, and Chobi interpreted squeezing their numbers by squeezing someone's throat. That's all I had for this episode, and you know what to do? Like this video to let me know if you want me to continue this series, comment about the thing that you found the most interesting or surprising, and of course, subscribe if you want to have more chance seeing when I upload more stuff.